is John Carpenter and I am a PhD student in the group of Jonathan Nishke in the University of Cambridge. If my accent hasn't given it away, I'm Irish and I studied for my undergraduate degree in nanoscience in, the, uh, in Trinity College Dublin. Um, so outside of science, I enjoy all sports pretty much, whether I'm playing or watching them. My favourite being Gaelic football, the native sport of Ireland. So for my work, I am working on a new class of supermolecular polymers. So to take a step back with polymers, you start with small chemical building blocks, little discrete units. And under the right reaction conditions, these can um, undergo a process of polymerization where they form long chemical chains or potentially 2D arrays or even 3D ordered structures. So what's really interesting about ours is that once the polymer is formed, these building blocks can undergo substitution reactions for similar but different building blocks. So if you were to think of applications, I guess, imagine that one of these building blocks that you wanted to substitute in was something really cool that you wanted to sense for. So say the thing that you were trying to sense for was something very, very important like sugar if you're a diabetic, for example. This sugar could substitute into your polymer, changing the properties of the entire system and as a result, you would have a sensor, which could solve a lot of issues that people have. So, if you're thinking of going into science, I guess the main thing that I would advise is that you really would want to love it. So, science definitely has the ability to chew you up and spit you back out. So if you have the love for it, you'll have no problem dealing with that and you'll be ready to come in the next day and go back at it again. Aside from that, probably the most rewarding thing I've done so far was to go and get some international experience. So during my undergraduate degree, I travelled to Berlin to undertake a research project. And it really just helps to develop you as a scientist, but even just as a person, I guess, to go and see how other things work in different countries. And it's been the same moving to England as well. I've learned an awful lot.